we're just outside Piddle Trentide and we can actually see the River Piddle there in the middle of the picture and of course that was a source of amusement but a funnier thing is that when Queen Victoria came to visit Piddle Town they renamed it Puddle Town. Now I've been told that the Celts cleared the land to make way for sheep farming. And then later on, there was another sort of farming which needed proper land, and the land was terraced. Now this is all hearsay. If we look at that field, we can see some terracing in the field. Now, because I did... Yeah, look at the horsey. Because I did uh, social democratic history, um, I'm far more interested in the Enclosures Act. And I would say that that field could easily be an example of the strip farming before the enclosures. And every villager had a strip of land, or several strips of land. And, and what the, uh, the academics say is that they would have three strips of land and they'd be in different places and that would make it less efficient. So when the enclosures came and people's land was taken off them and fields were made, it was far more efficient. Um, I, I, I sort of feel it was a bit of a tragedy, the enclosures, but uh, that's just me. Mm -hmm.